Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we can see the input output voltage relationship in a buck converter. Also, we will be seeing the need of volt second balance of the inductor. To get the record output voltage of the converter, we need some parameter relating the input and output voltages of the converter. The control parameter here is switch and we can see how the turn on time affects the output voltage. To get the output voltage relationship, let us take a main point that inductor current should not reach saturation for any of its operation. This can also be said as old second balance in the inductor. To understand the old second balance, let us consider the RL circuit. The current equation is given by I0 to 1 minus E power minus RT by L where there is a saturation region where the inductor loses its property and acts as a normal conductor or a wire. Thus, we consider in any converter that inductor current does not go to the saturation region. Let us say, during the turn on of the switch at steady state, inductor current rises to the peak and during the turn off, it comes to the start point. But let us say if the starting and ending points of the inductor current is not same at steady state condition then the inductor current may go to the saturation region which is undesirable in a circuit. Thus to ensure the starting and ending points of the inductor is same let us take an example. Let IL minimum is equal to 5 amps and IL peak be 10 amps. Thus, the change in inductor current during the turn on time is 10 minus 5 is 5 amps and during the turn off it is minus 5 amps. Thus, in general form it can be summarized as delta I on is equal to minus of delta I off. Or in other terms we can be taking it as delta I on plus delta I off equal to 0. This is a condition for inductor not to reach the saturation. Let us now write in the form of input and output voltages. By Lenz law, we can write the change in current across the inductor during the turn on time that is dA yon by dt is equal to V in minus V out by L. Similarly, during the turn off time, it can be seen as dA off by dt equal to minus V out by L. Thus, substituting for dA yon and dA off in the equation, we get the relationship in terms of voltage as follows. So this equation is also termed as old second balance of the inductor. Similarly, the same principle apply for the capacitor and it is called as amp second balance. Let us generalize the time dt on and dt off with a ratio called duty cycle, where duty cycle is a ratio of turn on or off time to the total time period. Substituting this in the equation and solving it, we get V in into D minus V out equal to 0 or in the other terms we can write V out equal to D into V in which is the required input output voltage relationship of a buck converter. But before ending this video, I want to give a clarity that this relationship will work for inductor waveforms which we taken as follows and it is called as continuous conduction mode as the inductor current is continuous. But for very low value of the current, the inductor value reaches zero for each cycle and this is called as discontinuous conduction mode of operation as the inductor waveform is discontinuous. Here the output voltage relationship can be seen as follows where it not only depends on the duty cycle but also depends on the various parameters such as inductor value, frequency and load resistance. Hope this video would be useful for you to understand the input output voltage relationship and in further videos we can see more on the different modes of operation and also on the practical selection of various components in the buck converter. Thank you very much for watching this video.